here's an example of multiplying any number using the Trachtenberg speed multiplication method 678 times 456. The first step is to insert n minus 1 zeros in front of the multiplicand, which is 678 in this case, where n is the number of digits in the multiplier. The multiplier is 456. As you can see, 456 has three digits, so n equals to 3, and hence n minus 1 will be 3 minus 1 equals to 2. So we need to insert two zeros in front of the multiplicand, which is 678. So we insert two zeros right here. The next step is to multiply the numbers with the same number of lines and add them in a particular pattern. So we start with 8 times 6, 48, and we put 4 and 8 with 4 as carryover and 8 in the ones place. The next pattern or the step is to do 7 times 6 plus 8 times 5. 7 times 6 is 42, 8 times 5 is 40, 42 plus 40 equals to 82. And we put 82 also in the same carryover format. The next pattern or set of numbers to be multiplied is 6 times 6, 7 times 5, and 8 times 4. So we get 6 times 6 is 36, 7 times 5 is 35, 8 times 4 is 32. Adding 36 plus 35 plus 32 gives us 103, and we put 103 in the carryover format. Notice the 1 is in the hundreds place, and hence it is kept further up and left. 0 is in the tens place, and 3 is in the ones place. The next pattern is 0 times 6, 6 times 5, and 7 times 4. 0 times 6 is 0, 6 times 5 is 30, 7 times 4 is 28. 0 plus 30 plus 28 equals to 58. We put 58 also in the carryover format. And finally, we have the last set, which is 0 times 4, which is 0. 0 times 5, also 0. And then 6 times 4, which is 24. 0 plus 0 plus 24 gives us 24. We put 24 in the carryover format. And as a last step, we simply add these products. So 8 goes in as 8. 4 plus 2 is 6. 8 plus 3 is 11 with 1 carry over. The 1 carry over plus 0 plus 8 is 9. Then we have 1 plus 5 plus 4 is 10 with a 1 carry over. A 1 carry over plus 2 is 3. So we get our final answer as 309,168. So 678 times 456 equals to 309,168. And that's it. Thank you.